Yeah, because in the Quran, you've got lots of accounts of different things, and without background, you don't know who they are. Now, yeah. the early, the yeah. early compilers of this will have known what they're talking about. Well, subsequent um, generations lost sense of what these mean. In fact, we've got a bit of this in the Bible. Yeah. Um, you get this in the Old Testament. Some things yeah, which, yeah, yeah. what the, what was that about? Yeah, but it's yeah, lost yeah. in time. Yeah. But of course, we don't say that our books yeah. are the final yeah. words. We've got the church, right? It's in golden tablets. So that means that Dunkun Lai was written about mm. April yeah. in golden tablets in heaven and revealed. So that means that a myth that was created here on earth was somehow another first in the heaven. That would literally make no sense. It makes no sense. Same as the seven secrets we know was a story. So why is Allah saying this in golden tablets and then that appears in the Quran? That would make no sense. No, that's true. But except that for most of the human race, there have been no... Um, most people have been illiterate. So, it doesn't have to make sense, Michael. No. When most people are illiterate and they just yeah. listen to what... Yeah. They, and yeah. it's true, the priest, the priest as well as the imam, can yeah. say all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So we're all, all religions are in the same boat in that way. Yeah. But once it gets, one people, once people become literate, and we have the printing press, people can start examining these texts. Yeah. And I would say our texts stand up. But other texts of other religions don't stand up. And the Islamic text does not stand up. And in fact, you know, I'm not somebody who speaks big, says, um, Muhammad says this, Muhammad did that. Because I believe that Islam didn't exist at the beginning. That is, I believe that what you have in Arabia and Syria, a, a monotheistic, heretical Christian sect, or a group of them, and they are the ones who go on to conquer parts of the Byzantine Empire, conquer the Persian Empire, conquer Spain. They're just straight monotheists who deny the deity of Christ. They're like Aryans. Over time, Islam comes into existence as we have it today, by a process of evolution. And there's reason to believe this because when, for example, the, uh, the Arabs go into Jerusalem, the priests like Sophronius do not mention Islam or Muslims. They refer to Hagarenes or Saracens. This is a generic, this is a generic term, not Islam or, or Muslim. Then when they go to Spain in 711, the Catholic bishops never mention Islam. These people are, are Muslims. They're not, they're not following Islam. Because, and it's important because Catholic bishops at that time and all times were going on and on about heresy. Things which deviated from the Catholic faith, they pinpointed all the time. So if a new religion was coming into the world, they'd be on it all the time, going on about it in meetings and discussions, but they never talk about Islam, never talk about Muslims, but they talk about, in moments, they talk about Saracens, they talk about Hagarenes, that is the descendants of Hagar. And, um, and others like that. But, and, and if you, for evidence of this, you know, in Islam, you don't have any images. We have our statues, the Muslims say it's idolatry. Fair enough, right? Fair enough. And Muhammad is the prophet of Islam. The prophet, the final prophet. Right. So, we have four rightly guided caliphs. We have, after, after Muhammad dies, we have Abu Bakr, we have Umar, we have Uthman, we have Ali. And Hazrat. Ali dies in battle against Muawiyah. He died in the mosque. Muawiyah is the, is, the, is the fifth leader then, called the commander of the faithful. So, we had Muhammad with a clear Quran laid out, everybody knows what Islam is, and the four rightly guided caliphs all believe in Islam, no images, no idols, Jesus is just a prophet, and so on. And the cross is a wicked thing. In fact, Jesus is going to come back and break the cross and kill the pig, according to Muslims and Islam. Yeah. Right? Jesus did not die on the cross, according to Islam. 
So Muawiyah is regarded by Sunni Muslims as a true caliph. Not a rightly guided caliph, but a true caliph. Who? Muawiyah. By Sunni Muslims. Oh, yeah, you mean. Oh, he, was, he was a caliph, he was king. He was a commander of the faithful, so yes, he was the head, yes, right? Yes. So, but Muawiyah minted coins which had a cross on them. Yes. Next to his own image. This is supposed to be a Muslim, the commander of the faithful. He also produced, uh, uh, a dam that was um, produced by his order had a cross before the inscription. Muawiyah was basically not doing what Muslims are expected to do. Having a coin with Christ, an image of Christ on it with a flaming sword and his own image on the back of that and a cross next to his own image shows that Muawiyah was not a Muslim. Muawiyah was basically an heretical Christian. Muawiyah went around the holy places in Jerusalem. Muawiyah built the Dome of the Rock without a Qibla, without a direction of prayer. It wasn't a mosque. This is a church, an old style church. So what we have then is by Muawiyah is the caliph from about 661 AD. He was a king, wasn't caliph. Because he was a commander say, of the faithful from six. It's really irrelevant. This saying, is really irrelevant. From six six one to six eight one, Muawiyah is the head of the Muslims, and he is rejecting the idea that images are unacceptable. He's affirming the cross, and he's affirming Jesus Christ. He's basically a Christian heretic by is our standards as Catholics. Possible to allow others Therefore, to well, hold on, this is my, my yeah. patch, you know, we'll yeah, lead you course. There's now then, have you, there is a time, you're right. Yeah. Now, but I'm on, I'm on a talk right now. Yeah. Now then, if I'm right, and I clearly write from the, from the archaeology, because the archaeology doesn't lie, traditions written by Muslims 200 years after the events can lie, especially when they're purely oral for two centuries, but the coins don't lie. The archaeology does not lie. Furthermore, the great Mecca is the focus for Muslims. The pr direction of prayer of all mosques in the world is to Mecca, right? Firstly, well, it is. Firstly, was what? Previously. Previously, what? However, you found the earliest mosques, all the mosques, until about 702 AD, were directed to Petra. Was it too from, seven, from 750 AD, they're all towards Mecca. Between about 702 AD and 750 AD, they're in a place right in between. Why is this? Muhammad, in his own lifetime, changed the direction of prayer from Jerusalem to Mecca. So when Muhammad died, all mosques should have a, a Qibla directed towards Mecca. But as I've said, from the death of Muhammad until the beginning of the 8th century, all the mosques are facing Petra, Syria. Therefore, the story that the Muslims tell you often is false. So, so the, so the, so the archaeology shows you that the stories that Muslims have made are false. Muslim was facing Jerusalem in the time of Muhammad, and in his, in his own life. Before he died, six, before he died, no, yeah, Forgot he about changed the death it anyway. He was alive. He died. He was strong. Yeah, he died. He his, was, my, my friend, he died in six three two A.D. He was sixty three years yeah, old. Yeah, in six three two A.D. That, they changed yes. the direction from so, Jerusalem. Tell me to then. Mecca. Yeah, I know. So yeah. tell me then. Yeah. Why? Well, the Qiblas yeah. of all the mosques yeah. built after Muhammad died until seven hundred and two A.D. Yeah. At aimed towards Petra, which not mosque? Mecca. Which mosque? All mosques in which the world. Mosque? Which mosque? All mosques. Which mosque? The Kaaba is there. Mecca. Medina is there. Quba is there. The Syrian one in Damascus is there. Oh, al Abbas Damascus, 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 Damascus directed Damascus, towards all Petra. All the mosques was going all to the mosques. Mecca. Look, it's all it's been looked at. All the mosques. No, all the mosques. no, you cannot the say that. Are directed if towards knows, Petra. This is now. Given this archaeology, uh, let me, we can let see me the story of Islam. No, only. no, no, not yet, not yet. The uh, direction, because I let you intervene, but you said you're going to allow it. Uh, in a minute, in a minute, surely, surely. Are you talking about my religion? The archaeology shows that. 
the Islamic story as given in the traditions is not in accordance with what the coins and the archaeological evidence shows. That means what we say as Christians, You're talking the about early, Islam the non-Muslims, the non-Muslims non say, do not speak of Muslims or Islam. No, you they speak, speak of Hagarines kind of and Saracens. If you find something, so if there were really Muslims, right, you can talk they'd about be it. speaking of I Muslims. So, what we have to say is this: the that the early history okay, of Islam, Islam is not as Muslims say. You've got the right to talk about what's wrong. If that's so, that's what Islam is a false religion.